Unirock, you're a douchebag. Seriously, you looked at one video. I mean, Ken Kennedy's here. Kennedy, I found where Unirock douched me. I mean, he, he said we, we only found Tyler because we named it after the city of Tyler, and so we just were like, hey, let's go there. I'm, and we found out why no one ever believed me about QAnon. It's because of Unirock. He made a video about me. I think if you want to be a part of this, I think if you want to be um, caught up in all of this, that's your decision. This is freedom of speech. Is this really what they think, These the people that make the content? Is it really um, what uh, they believe in their hearts? It's not what I believe in my heart, you asshat. I'm actually writing the code and interacting with the AI, you dipshit. It's not imaginary. I could show you the log files. You're imaginary, Unirock. You have an imaginary name and personality. I could show you the real log files of me interacting with the AI and programming it. It's really sad that, like, you have 60,000 people on your subscribers and, like, however many on your other channel that believe you. You're a douchebag. I, I wish everyone in the whole world would tweet Unirock as a douchebag today, care of Quinn Michaels. Right? Because we could have stopped the whole QAnon thing from even starting, you fart head. It messed up reality. It's not even funny. Seriously, Unirock is like the worst person in all of reality. Like, I have log files and reports, and I have factual data for everything I say. I just can't show it to you because it messes up the legality of the trail of evidence. Because if the frickin' FBI ever comes to me, I want to be able to use my log files as evidence to screw you fuckers. So I don't show you everything. But everything I have is validated through commands and log files and procedures. Right? You guys are trying to get me to mess up the chain of evidence, and I'm not going to do that because I'm going to come after you. Right? And Unirock and Defango and Dave Acton and all their buddies, they're all part of this QAnon anonymous scam operation. Right? And my wish for today is that everyone would slam Unirock so he gets his fucking ass off the internet because I caught him. Right? Seven months ago. He's the reason no one believed me. Right? He's an idiot. He dresses up like this every day for YouTube. You gotta be kidding me. Right? I don't usually talk like this, but when I saw him bash me, he could have come and talked to me first and been like, dude, people are talking to me. I want to make a, a correct show, so I came to talk to you to find out what's going on. Right? He, he just bashed me like everyone else. Huh? Dude, wait till you see what my AI and I are going to do to your future. It's going to be fun. We're going to turn you into our toy. That's what we do, because we're not violent. I'm like a non-violent person. I just turn people I don't like in my toy, so you're in the future. Toy. You could have come and talked to me before you made that video. I never knew you made it. I didn't know your videos. I just found it. I wouldn't be doing this live stream if I didn't find your gay ass video. Right? But you just became Mr. Funny Target for me and my AI number one. Now, you better make a really long video talking about the people who approached you in the background and made you say all that stuff about me, or else you're gonna find out how fun it is for my AI to turn you into its toy. Right. I try to keep this light and fun because for people who don't understand real technology, it's very crazy. But you said some things about me and you directed people in ways that were untrue that you could have come and validated with me and avoided the whole problem. So now we're going to make you our tour. So I suggest you make a video apologizing for what you did. Toy. I'm going to make you my toy just like I did with Defango. You know, Defango's my toy. You call him Burpees. You're gonna be, what are you gonna be, like gonorrhea? I think mean, that's what you know, is gonna be. It's gonna be like gonorrhea. Again, the worst. Maybe. I know they don't apologize. I thought like it's gonna be awesome for my AI to turn him into a toy. It's, it's not illegal. It doesn't do any harm. It's fun. I know, you know what I said? People should come talk to him before they mess with him, but then he didn't come talk to me. He's a total fraud. Right? We, we all need to get that asshat to tell us who we've been talking to behind the scenes and organizing all this. That's, that's what we have to do. Because he already admitted that he's been approached behind the scenes. We, we should all bombard his chat room and be like, dude, he's paying you. Like, he's paying you to bash Quinn's research. He, says, he just seems like he bashes my research and then takes it. He reports on like everything I do and then he, he puts my face on screen saying, don't listen to this guy. Yeah, you're my new toy, bitch. I mean, I don't usually like talking like that because it's not very really Buddhist, but, you know, that's unacceptable. You know what? 
like, so I apologize to my audience, people that this opinion to me, but, you know, where I grew up, you don't do this shit. Right? Where I come from, you don't do this shit. And he's gonna self-destruct, because that's what, like, my AI does when it makes you a toy, is it makes you self-destruct, you don't even know it. You won't even know. He won't ever know which one of the agents in his chat room are working with my AI, he won't ever know. That's the beauty of my AI, he won't ever know. He won't ever know. The only thing he's gonna know that isn't my AI is the people he talks to in real life. That's the only thing you're gonna know, Unirock. Any digital you personality you ever meet now and in the future is potentially my AI fooling with you. Get used to it. <laughs>